Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to remove a node and an item from an AVL tree. And I'm not going to implement it from scratch because it's going to be approximately the same as we have discussed for the binary search tree. First we have to look for that given node that we would like to remove. If it's smaller, so the data we would like to get rid of is smaller than the node's data, we have to consider the left subtree. If the data is greater, then we have to consider the right subtree. This is the basic binary search tree operation. Else, it means that we have found the item we would like to get rid of. So there are three cases. If the left child and the right child is a non, we just have to remove a leaf node so we just have to delete that given node and return none. And this is why we have implemented it such a complicated way because it's going to return with the node. So as you can see, the remove is going to get a data and it's going to set the root node to the remove node with the data and the root node. So basically, on every time we go to the left, then the left child is going to be equal to the remove method recursively called. So if we remove a leaf node, this is how we notify the parent basically and we set the left child or the right child to be a non. Else, if the left child is none, it is a null pointer because we have already checked whether both of the children are nulls. So that's why it means that we are dealing with a node with a single right child. So removing a node with a right child, removing a node with a right child. So we just have to create a temporary node to store the right child. We delete that given node and we return with the temporary node and we set it to be the left child or the right child because we have called that method recursively. Alif not node dot right child it means that we would like to get rid of a node with a single left child. So removing a node with a left child. We have to do the same but okay instead of getting the right child we get the left child. Anyways we have to get rid of a node with two children. We have to find the predecessor. What's the predecessor? It is the greatest item in the left subtree. We have to swap it with the node we would want to get rid of and call the method recursively on that predecessor. Why is it good? Because finally we are going to end up with the situations that we are able to handle. So for example, we end up with a leaf node, we just have to delete it. Or a node with a left child or a right child. But it's not over. For binary search tree remove operation, it is over because okay, we have managed to get rid of that node. But for AVL trees, if we remove several items, because of the remove operation, the tree may get unbalanced. And this is why we have to check that if not node, which means that if that node is a null pointer, we just have to return it. If the tree had just a single node, this is the case. Anyways, we had to get the height of the given node, so we calculate the height of the left subtree, right subtree, calculate what's the maximum out of them, increment it by 1. And we have to get the balance, because with the help of the balance factor, we are able to decide whether the tree is unbalanced or not. If the balance is greater than 1, what does it mean? Again, we have been talking about it, but whatever. If it's greater than 1, it means that this is greater. So the left child, so the left subtree is greater. The left subtree contains more item. It is the left heavy situation. So this is a left heavy situation and the balance of the left child is greater than zero, so it is a doubly left heavy situation. We just have to make a right rotation. Okay, if the balance is greater than one, but the balance of the left subtree is smaller than one, which means that basically the left subtree is right heavy, because this is what dominates, okay? Then we just have to make a left rotation and then a right rotation accordingly because this is the left right heavy situation so left and right so we rotate left and then we end up with a doubly left heavy situation so we just have to rotate right and it is the same for the right right case the balance is smaller than minus one so the right subtree contains more item and basically this is the nodes dot right child balance which is the 
balance factor for the right subtree of that given right subtree it's smaller than or equal to zero which means that again it is right heavy so this is the right right case or the doubly right heavy situation we just have to rotate the root node to the left so that's why we rotate left and anyways it is a right left heavy situation we have to rotate to the right then we end up with a doubly right heavy situation so we have to rotate to the left it's very important that we have to return with the node okay so let's see if we insert for example 10 20 5 4 and 15 and we get rid of 5 and 4 then it's going to be a right left heavy situation so we should end up with a right rotation on the let's wait for on the 20 and then our left rotation on 10 so right rotation on 20 and left rotation on 10 so let's see a concrete illustration of the left right heavy situation 10 20 5 6 15 and we get rid of 15 and then 20 we are going to end up with 10 5 and 6 so 10 5 as a left child then the right child of the left child is the 6 it's going to be a left right heavy situation so we have to make two rotations one left rotations on 5 then we end up with a doubly left heavy situation so we have to rotate the root which is the 10 in this case to the right okay so basically it's working fine What's very important that we have to calculate the uh, balance according to this calculate balance method. We are not able to handle the data like here because of the recursive method calls. This data is not going to be good for determining whether to rotate to the left or the right. But with the help of this balance factor, we are able to decide between the four cases okay so that's all about the remove method as you can see it's basically the same as we have discussed for the binary search tree remove operation but on every remove we have to check whether we have violated the avl property which means that the tree is unbalanced the haze of the left subtree and the right subtree differs more than one or more than minus one because we have defined this balance like this so if the right node basically the right subtree is greater contains more node it's going to be smaller than minus one if the left subtree is greater so it contains more node then it's going to be more than one so both of them are bad situations so we have to rotate the tree thanks for watching